Hi guys, I just want to show you these, the two boilers that I've taken out, I'll tell you that I take them home and I've cut these to pieces to show you a little bit of an insight on how they work. This is a Valent uh, Pro 831, so as you can check. So this is the brains of the matter at the front, it's a front panel, got your thermostats on it, got your little readout on off and your pressure gauge. So that's what that is, and so I'm not really going to explain about that, but this is what it looks like inside. So. You've got the main heat exchanger up here, so that is the thing that actually heats the water up. So I've taken the other one out and I've cut it up for you to have a look at. So this is the return and flow and this is the condensate pipe coming off the bottom of here. But I cut through the heat exchanger as you can see. This is a Giannone heat exchanger and so this is what the actual waterways look like inside. Because all you can see sometimes is the inside when you're servicing it, but it's nice to know but this is what the actual elements look like inside. So heat comes through the main burner, heats this heat exchanger, goes round uh, the heat exchanger, goes out and up through your flue, causes condensation. So the condensation is caught in this plastic shroud and it goes down here and then down your condensate pipe, which I'll show you down here. It's at the bottom of the heat exchanger down there, goes down through there, through the siphon and then if you look around the bottom of here that's a cleaning access for the siphon you just twist it pull it out and you can clean all the dirt and debris out of there and then pop it back in twist and that's the condensate pipe going to your drain so if you just look have a quick look underneath here this is the return so that's your return and that's your flow so your return and everything comes off here, off your, off your pump body. So I've got the pump and I've uh, taken it to pieces for you. So you've got the automatic air vent there. Should you need to clean that out, you just pull that circle out and have a go at that. And that's what the pump like, looks like inside. All right. So the heat exchanger's heated the water up and it's pumped it down the flow into here comes down this pipe and then goes to your central heating. This is the diverter valve and inside there is a little pin like this one I've taken off. So the pin goes in and out and that differentiates the water between going to the central heating and the hot water. So that's the, <coughs> not, sorry, that is the uh, plate to plate heat exchanger here. And so he has a flow and a return going to that to heat that up and then inadvertently the cold water goes in and comes out hot so I'll show you that I've taken one off the old this older boiler and so this is it so it sits on the plate like that and onto there like that as you can see and then so it flows and returns in one side and then cold and hot comes out the other side and so that's what the heat exchanger looks like inside so the heat from that heat exchanger heats this one and then this one heats the hot water. So I've cut it into quarters for you so you can actually see inside the heat exchanger. So that's the heat exchanger. The back side of that heat exchanger, if you imagine that's the front of it and the heat exchanger on there. This one's been badly damaged with water leaking as you can see. But on the back side of that is this. So as you can see, goes through the diverter, that's the return, and then through this side is the flow. So that's the flow return, and then that's the cold water coming in, as you can see, which is there. And then the hot water is coming out, going down this pipe, and then going to your hot water taps. So that's what they look like on the back side of it. That's your diverter valve what it looks like on the front of it. So that's how that works and that's how that plate to plate heat exchanger works. As the water comes in it goes through this aqua flow. It's an aqua sensor. So inside there you can see there's a little wheel that spins telling uh, the boiler that there's water coming through and that it needs to act to change into the hot water um, zone and then obviously that can uh, control your, your, your valves and everything else that's inside this boiler. So, we've done the heat exchanger, we've done the plate-to-plate -plate heat exchanger. What happens when 
water heats up is it expands now it has to have somewhere to go when it expands so that's why they have this it's an expansion vessel and you might have seen them with this it's a Schrader valve it's exactly the same as what you have on your car tires sometimes they get full of water you can press that and the diaphragm inside is broken and water can come out of there uh, thus telling you that it's broken so what I've done I've that's where the expansion vessel lives on this boiler. I've taken this one off and I've cross-sectioned it for you so you can actually see inside the expansion vessel. So this is where the air comes in, where you pressurise it to one bar. And then out of the bottom here, which you can see there, is the bit that connects it onto the heating side of it. So water's on that side of the diaphragm, on the other side, and air's on this side. And if you listen, can see that that's where the air comes out so that's how expansion vessels work on the gas side of it we've obviously got the gas pipe coming in going through the gas valve again we've got electric controls on these and this is the fan the gas valve allows the correct amount of gas to come through and mix with the air and then it pushes it through so this is the gas valve so I've taken it all to pieces and as you can see there are diaphragms springs take this one off again a lot of rubber diaphragms and again that bit off there you go there's the bellows and stuff inside so that's the actual gas valve itself and then that allows air to come in so air comes in through the top of the uh, boiler so this is the actual fluid turret that comes off the top of the boiler so the exhaust gas has come up there and then go up and to outside and then this outer bit is where the air comes in to feed the boiler which is in the top of here and then that goes through that bit that we showed you uh, goes in there out there and these are the two test points so this test point as you can see goes right through to there so that's the bit that you're going to uh, test out for your, um, your flue gases and then this one here goes into there so you can test the integrity of the air coming in so that's your flue turret yeah. through the flue fills this up with air and it goes up here through the silencer and then back down and into the gas where the gas valve is and the fan to pump it through into the heat exchanger so this is uh, this I'll show you this bit first this is the silencer so that's just the top of there just quietens it down a little bit so uh, makes your boiler a little bit quieter then you've got the fan which is obviously situated on the side of here so that's the back side of the fan this is the front side obviously you've got little PCB there coils and that's the fan itself that spins and drags the air and the gas mixture through to the burner so We've got to the burner, uh, as you can see this is plonked on here and we've all taken these apart of these uh, Giannone ex uh, heat exchangers but this is what it looks like inside whether you've seen one or not. So as you can see it's like that so that's the bit that all the flames come out of and then they heat up the heat exchanger there. So just take that little bit off for you, the few sensors in the igniter there and then that's the G10. Uh, so then you've got that's that bit that's that bit right cool so only bit that I've got to show you now would be the condensate pipe comes off the bottom of the boiler after it's condensed inside your boiler it goes down this pipe along here and then to the siphon so this is the actual siphon that's behind the back of the pump and all that kind of stuff I'll chop that up a little bit for you so as you can see that was the bit that I took off to clean and this is where the pipe comes out and goes uh, to a drain so as you can see that's how it causes a siphon fills up to a certain level then it discharges the whole thing at once uh, down there and, uh, and then comes out the other side so the only other thing I've got is uh, quite a lot of harness wiring they're all colour coded so you know which one goes to where there's lots of different sensors uh, and all that kind of stuff on this boiler which I don't really want to go into I wanted to just show you that 
by cross-sectioning the heat exchangers, uh, the fan taking things to pieces, I just wanted to show you a quick oversight on how these boilers work. I mean, I'm not a, an expert or anything like that, but I just so happen to have these two boilers that I took out at the same time and replaced them. Um, so hopefully that's helped you out a little bit. If you're one of the really techie guys, then obviously it's not helped you out much at all because you already knew that. But some of the new guys or some of the newbies or apprentices, that's what we're here for. Uh, to try and help you out and show you a little bit about what they look like inside and what they do. So hopefully that's been good for you. And you know what? That's why I love plumbing!